So this is an inexpensive scroll saw, and you'll see that the uh, important part of a scroll saw is the depth uh, of this, so that you can use a big piece of wood and you can be turning it around to make curved cuts and have it still fit and not hit the arm. The way it works is that the blade is in here between the top arm and a bottom arm that you can't really see underneath the table. When you turn the table saw on, these just go up and down. The blade, you want the teeth to point down. And so you can feel it, or you can also see it, but on a very fine one, you can feel it by uh, pulling your finger across the blade. You'll feel which direction it's going to cut. So what we, what we normally do is we set uh, this holder right here at about the same height as the wood so that the motion of the blade going up and down through the wood does not move the wood as you cut. So the, a simple thing to do on one of these is to make a straight cut, although that's, you could argue that's not typically the usefulness of a scroll saw, but let's so show how to do that. Uh, before we do that, it's important to note that you most scroll saws have an adjustment for the speed of the up and down oscillation. That's important because if you're using hardwood, you want to use a slower speed. Softwood, you can use a fast speed. So this one has a dial and we'll, we'll pull to start and you can see the reciprocating saw going up and down and I can turn the speed up or I can turn the speed down. And this wood that we're going to be cutting is cherry, which is a hardwood, so we want to leave it on a slower speed. Uh, put on our safety glasses, which we always want to do. You want to get into a comfortable position and you don't want your fingers to be pushing directly into a moving blade, so your fingers should stay to the side. So we'll do a simple straight cut with my fingers to the side. and you can pull back out if you've reached the end of your cut. And then we'll cut in from the other side. So that's a straight cut, and you can see uh, the results of that. It's, it's actually pretty straight and pretty fine, given the blade that I'm using. Now what we really want to do with this kind of a blade, or this kind of a saw, is go along curved surfaces. So let's try to cut along this curve and demonstrate how you do that. When, when you come to a curve, you move the wood and try not to pull the blade left or right very much. Try to keep the blade centered. As you get a little experience at this, you'll find it becomes much easier. So, we're cutting a curve here and we simply with our eyes follow the curve. You'll notice the safety glasses are very important because if that blade were to break while it's in the wood, it could come up and hit you in the face. So you want to be very careful. So here I'm manipulating the wood, driving the blade into the pencil mark. And you see that I just do turns by turning the wood and trying not to push the blade too much to the side. Okay, here comes a curve. You kind of get the knack of this after you've done it a few times. You want to be careful that you don't get your fingers anywhere close to that blade or pointing into it in any way. It's a very important safety feature. So there's our cut curve, and if you, if you can come in here pretty close, this is extremely smooth. The cut is surprisingly smooth. So you can do a lot with this saw.